I'll go talk to Risley. Okay. Hey, don't be reckless! Traveler, please talk some sense into him! I simply cannot allow Lynette to be abducted again. I uh. have to go. I'll find a way to get them back. Oh. He's rushed out the door! After him! Uh. Oh, Sea Train is here! Ooh! Stop your cruel and pointless games, Risley! You know that we haven't finished our investigation, so there's no way we can answer the last question. The thought of sparing Lynette and Fremenet never even crossed your mind. Lenny. You'll pay for this? <laughs> oh. Ah! Oh. I believe I hear footsteps. The door suddenly slams open. A fam familiar figure bursts into the room. Some space, please. Familiar shape, of course. Ah, Miss Cloran. <gasps> My door. <laughs> so, I was supposed to go outside, but I want to see what these guys are saying. Could I tempt you with some sugar for your tea? Ooh, they're having tea time. No need. That's it. Okay. They are having a nice tea date right there. Okay. Going to infirmary. <laughs> All right. All the way there. Can I just go? Where's this? Up here is fine, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. But I still gotta go up. Right? Yep. Here. All right. Armory. Where is it? Over there. Is that still up? Where's the sparkles? Really? I don't understand the navigation, but I'm now here. No time to lose. Oh, thank goodness, finally. Finally. No time to lose. Gee, the navigation of this jail is difficult for me. Friends! Mm. <coughs> mm. He's awake. Fremenet, how do you feel? You're precious, Fremenet. Lenny. Lynette. Mm. We're all here. Uh, mm. Where am I? The infirmary at the Fortress of Meripede, Mr. Fremenet. And you are no longer in any danger. Yay! How do you feel? Don't push yourself if you're not feeling up to it. Uh, traveler, Paimon, it's been so long. Yeah, we didn't see you after that first act. Uh, the sea. There's something wrong with the seawater. Mm hmm. Shh, it's okay. We can talk about it after you've recovered. No. Listen to me. This is really serious. There's primordial seawater mixed into the regular seawater. I don't know why it's there, but no one should touch it. That is really, really dangerous for Defontaine people. What happened after you snuck into the pipes? Pipes. Uh, right. The pipes. It's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me now. No, I'm sorry. Huh. Are we controlling Fremenet? I'm in. Hmm. Seems like this pipe hasn't been used in a long time. It looks abandoned. Hmm. Where could Master Child be? Oh. 
We are controlling him. That's cool. I don't know if I even used him um, when he was out during the trial. Because I tend to use only five star just for the gems. So I didn't get the chance to use him. So how did, how is he used? And what's his skill? Ooh. Oh, Pingy. Perry, right? Is it? Oh, so cute! Huh. This mechanism looks like it's been tampered with. Could he have done it? Done. Excuse me. I just drank water. Why did I burp a little? What? Do I go here? Oh, smart. Okay. Femine, you're so precious. I wish you weren't a four star so that way I could easily pull for your for your banner and all that. Unfortunately you are. So well, that would have been difficult. And now I'm just gonna have to rely on Gotcha to give you to me um randomly. Mm. Getting stuck on something. Ah, oh, what? Seems like I'll have to avoid those obstacles while I turn it. Which one? Oh, okay. Try adjusting the rotary. What do you mean? So, like, what? Go down? Oh, wait, 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 go back up, go back up. Can I do it here? Ah! Genius. Such a genius. Genius move, bro. Genius, genius move. Bam! Let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm not smart. I hope I hope I get to see your ult. Wait. Now it's back down. Woo! Oh, there it is. Don't die. You're the only one in my party, so don't die. This is where the water starts. Okay. Master Child probably dived into the water. I'll go take a look as well. Okay. You better be okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Aw, oh, but I won't get to see your ult! Oh well. The vegetation here is a bit more sparse. These traces aren't natural. A person must have left them. And recently, I should be going in the right direction. Smart! Jeez, I wouldn't know. Oh, there are traces here too. I need to keep going. Okay, just... Huh? The traces are gone. But I don't see where he could have gone from here. Uh, wait, what the... Uh, 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 my heart is racing, and it's getting harder and harder to breathe. What's going on? Oh man, not the precious boy. Uh, no good. I have to get back. They still don't know anything about what's going on. If I turn back right now, I should still be able to make it. Is it the primordial water? Is that what's going on right now? 
Oh, 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 I'm hurt. I'm getting hurt. Um, Fremenate's getting hurt. Oh no, not precious boy. Come on. Come on, come on. Make it, make it, make it. You're gonna see Chlorin pretty soon. Come on, make it, make it. I can't die here. Oh, the boy's acting really good too. This, this is bad. I'm feeling worse and worse, and I'm still underwater. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to push on. Oh no. Oh, Glorind! Wait, but why is she not affected? Wouldn't she be affected? Maybe she had to go further to be affected. I forgot what, what was said in the previous one. Hmm. So, in other words, the trail you were following vanished, and you had no idea where Master Child could have gone, but there was also no obvious place for him to have disappeared to. Mm-hmm. That's right. I tried my best to swim back, but I had already put some distance between myself and the fortress, and I just couldn't find the strength to keep going. I probably passed out some time after that, and... You know the rest. Miss Clarand brought you back, but we also don't know why she just suddenly appeared at the fortress, or why she went out to save you. Miss hmm. Clarand, you say? I must go thank her in person. You're still too weak, Fremenet. You can go after you've had some more rest. Lynette sounds so nice and Miss kind. Miss Lynette is right. I believe Miss Clarand will stay here as a guest for another few days, so there's no need to hurry. And why is that? A guest? Then I can assume Risley was the one who invited her to come down here? You should ask His Grace about that. He'll be able to explain better than me. Got it. Yeah. I'll go talk to him. It's about time he actually told us what's going on. Wanna come with us, Liddy? Uh, no, please go on without me. I don't want to leave just yet. He doesn't want to leave his siblings. Really? The logical part of my brain is aware that we're safe right now, but I still can't bring myself to leave. Both of you are just in danger. Hmm. Understood. Then let's just sit together for a while. Aww. In that case, I'll leave the infirmary to you. The Traveler and I are going to head out for now. As long as you stay in here, I don't think you'll be disturbed. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I want to see. Take a nice little picture between the siblings. Maybe a child should be here. Bam! Oh wait. Bam! There you go. This is cute. Why was it? Oh, I didn't mean that. Um. I. I'm so sorry, Lenny. I'm also really sorry, Lenny. I should have been more careful. Don't say that. It was all my fault. I was the one who should have been more careful. You two were nearly... If mm. I was stronger, maybe I would have already found Master Child. No. No, how can you say that? Oh, this is getting me, me emotional huh? a little. I'm sorry. Hmm. What I'm hearing is, we all dropped the ball at some point during the mission. So the responsibility falls on all of us. Isn't that right? She's, try she's trying to make it neutral. Yeah, that's right. It's on all of us. <sighs> oh, but Lenny can't accept Lenny, that. We understand that you're worried about us, but we're worried about you as well. Please don't blame yourself. We want you to keep your spirits up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aw, sweet siblings. All right. I love how it won't let me in until I land. <laughs> All right. Now I can finally talk to you guys. Oh, the ball there. That's cute. Excuse me. Oh, family. <laughs> I take it Mr. Fremenet's condition has stabilized? Of course. I wouldn't have left the infirmary otherwise. I've been expecting those two, but might I inquire as to the purpose of your visit, Miss Sejuine? I want to 
wanted to check up on Miss Korean. How are you feeling? She didn't. She did swim in the primordial water. That what she's worried about? Be fine, I think. If you don't mind, I'd like to perform another quick physical exam. It'll just take a few minutes. Might be good. All right. Thank you for looking out for me. I'll take my leave for now then. Well, want oh, sorry. to explain yourself, Risley? <laughs> of course. But I'm not partial to the word choice of explain. How about enlighten? <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Please enlighten us as much as you like. Um, where should I begin? How about you start by asking me any questions you have? You can start with whichever one you'd like to get answered the most. Hmm. Hmm. And Paimon will begin. Did you know about Lenny's goals from the very beginning? Hmm, no. I just knew they were Fatui operatives sent to the fortress by the Knave. As for their specific goals, I only figured those out as you made progress on your investigation. He's watching us. You managed to monitor and stay ahead of them even though you didn't know what they were trying to do? They came here with ulterior motives. I'm quite adept at discerning what that kind of behavior signals. Why didn't you stop them? Initially, I thought their goal was just to investigate Child's disappearance. Linny suggested that I had deliberately let him escape. But in truth, I didn't really do anything special to help or hinder him while he was here. Everything he did, from finding helpers to leaving this place, he did on his own. Hmm. Of course, it's inevitable that the Knave would make a big deal out of her fellow Harbinger's unexplained disappearance. I'm also quite curious about where that Harbinger went. So I figured I might as well let the Fatui do their own investigative work. All I care about is the answer. Hey, I would do that too. Let the others do the work and, and, then, and then I'll just follow. So you were hoping Lenny's group would just do your work for you. Hey, it doesn't hurt. You make it sound like that's a bad thing. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. I assume that Fremenet has told you already the ratio of primordial seawater around the fortress of Meripede is on the rise. The Forbidden Zone has always been Lenny's target and you got roped into that investigation after running into him. I began to intervene out of concern for your safety. Oh. And also to prevent the fortress from becoming entangled in more irksome matters. He's worried about us. Are the rumors true? That you're also a former criminal? Why would you put it like that? Isn't staying here all day and serving as the manager of the fortress a kind of sentence unto itself? Another form of prison? I just happen to have some support from the rest of the inmates. That's all. That doesn't really answer the question. Oh, right. Me, of course. Oh. I paid her good Mora to come down to the fortress for some field work. Field work. Field work. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. As a champion duelist, Miss Cloran could be considered to be an independent party. I needed to find an exceptionally capable person to help me get through the appending crisis. Hmm. And saving Fremenet was part of that crisis? You can think of it like that, yes. Credit where credit is due, that boy is quite adept at diving. Had conditions not been as hostile as they were, he probably would have found the missing Harbinger already. That's true. So the Forbidden Zone really exists? What's inside of it? That's not something you should be asking after. Nevelet only asked you to investigate Child's whereabouts. True. All I need to prove to you is that the Forbidden Zone had nothing to do with the Harbinger's disappearance. That should be clear now that you've spoken to Fremenet. And we've answered a bunch of questions that you threw at us. Isn't it about time that you answer our last question in return? You make hmm. a compelling case. Do you really want to know the answer that badly? Yeah, Paimon really wants to know. Even if the truth may not be pleasant? Uh, yes. Follow me. Well, this is gonna be sad. I was about to say suck, but still. Yeah. I don't know why I'm hesitant to say that. I thought I was going outside. Oh. Oh. There's a hidden door here? And a whole basement behind it? Huh. You're pretty good at hiding stuff, Risley. It seems you've forgotten just what kind of place the Fortress of Meripede is. It's, um, I forgot what it's called. Architectural, um, factory, something, something. Uh, 
Oh, we're fine. Stand on the central plate. Wait, is there a secret mechanism or... Whoa! Of course, he tells you. Once everyone has taken their position, blah, 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 it, went, it descends down. Something like that. So, this is the Forbidden Zone? Honestly, for a place so well hidden, Paimon sure doesn't see anything special. And that is... What a huge door! There are three such isolation gates in total. Generally speaking, I'm the only one who's allowed to go inside. Hence the name Forbidden Zone. Ooh. Am I correct to assume you're going to run on back and tell your little Fatui friends everything? Well, I... Paimon wasn't thinking of keeping anything from them. The, the traveler was like, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd advise you wait until you've seen the whole truth of this place for yourself before deciding whether or not to tell them. Okay. I just realized we're the traveler right now. Interesting. Huh. So there's a switch on the side. Stand back. Okay. Whoa! They all just went up one by one. What's that in the middle of the room? Go on, have a look. Hmm. Why can't you just tell us? <laughs> I guess seeing is more believing. This room is really empty with nothing in here, which is quite strange on its own. There's also a device smack dab in the middle of the room, which looks like some kind of massive Louis. Louis. I've been gate? interested in what lies beyond that gate ever since I assumed leadership of the Fortress of Meripede. Of course, it would be unwise to recklessly open it, but it'd also be risky and negligent to simply ignore any potential danger that could be behind it. Hmm. The readings on that dashboard have not budged since the day when I first laid eyes on this place. But over the past year, the needle has crept upwards from its original position, likely because some parameter it's been tracking has changed, if only infinitesimally. Normally, I would have ignored it, but I happen to have some free time when I noticed it, so I investigated. Any guesses what the reading could be tracking? The water pressure? Very reasonable guesses. I've considered uh, or both of temperature? Those as well. Unfortunately, our dashboard is tracking something less ordinary. The temperature hmm. should vary with weather and climate changes, so for something that rarely shifts, the water pressure is more likely. We ran a few tests to increase the pressure from the outside, but the readings didn't change at all. Later on, a few more possibilities occurred to me, such as a potential connection with the primordial sea. I began to make a few preparations based on that hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Over the past few days, the needle has moved again. With that, and the symptoms that Fremenet displayed after leaving the fortress, I can now confidently conclude that the readings represent the concentration of primordial seawater in the seawater nearby. Oh, and it's over the top! That's bad. The concentration of primordial seawater? But we're already under the sea! Okay, that's dangerous for the Fontaine people. And that is precisely the problem. We're at the bottom of the sea, and now we're surrounded by toxic seawater. Somehow, primordial seawater got mixed in, and the concentration is steadily rising. Primordial seawater is continually le leaking into the sea? Yes. That's very likely. But forget about the two of us. Not even Novelette knows where the primordial sea could be, much less where we could find a plug a leak. Plug a leak! Yoink! Oh. <laughs> Seems like you've figured it out. <laughs> I believe the primordial sea lies directly beneath this sluice gate. For some reason, the primordial seawater levels have risen significantly, and it's now very close to us. The indicators are now red. Although the gate still stands, some primordial seawater has already leaked out and mixed into the sea around us. It... isn't it all red? All of it? If this oh wait, it's colors maybe. Change color. Soon, it will no longer be able to hold back the Primordial Sea at all. And if the Primordial Sea is leaking through, if this gate falls, all of Fontaine will fall with it. Yeah, you know what the legends say. If this place falls, then everyone in Fontaine will be turned into puddles in the span of a night. Uh...
expression tells me you think this might be part of a vast, complicated conspiracy. To be honest, you might find the actual answer may be exceedingly boring. Yeah. It's just that the secret of the Forbidden Zone had been long forgotten by the nation before I rediscovered it with my research. There's no hmm. single founder of the Fortress of Meripede in any traditional sense. What we know about its history has been left to us by the people who used to live here. Oh. When the previous Hydro Archon, Egeria, ruled the land, all convicted criminals from Fontaine were exiled. The people drove the criminals away like a wolf pack chasing away the banished. The criminals received no sympathy of any kind from the people. They were exiled to the desolate seaside, where they experienced only pain, struggle, and the bone-chilling cold. Some of them began to repent and prayed to the Hydro Archon, asking if there was still anything they could do. The Hydro Archon took pity on them and said, You may go guard my secret deep underneath the waves. Oh! And so, leaning on the power of the Hydro Archon, they gathered underneath the sea and began to build a fortress. They became a community down there in the deeps. And over the years, helped it to grow. How in the world do you build underwater? As the number of exiles increased, more and more people joined the community. When the first group of exiles died, they left the yet unfinished fortress to their successors. Well, I would have thought that, that there was no machines in Genshin, but there is now. The Hydro Archon I mean, continued to lend her support, allowing the fortress and what it stood for to continue growing ever larger. Before long, this dark underwater fortress became the sinner's only home. I'm asking stupid question. Never mind. Ignore me. And with that, the people here stopped referring to the fortress as a prison. They saw themselves as repenting sinners who would regain their freedom once they had sufficiently redeemed themselves. Hmm. But as time went on, people also realized that the fortress was a lonely place. Once they had gotten used to life here, they could no longer feel comfortable living in the overworld. Once they finished serving their sentences, some people left and some others chose to stay. They'd find some idle position and let their withered souls fade away with the ancient secrets of the past. Oh. After many, many centuries, few people still remember the reason for the fortress's founding. Now they just see it as an integral pillar of Fontanian society, as the place where criminals deserve to be sent. Now and mm. again, researchers manage to break one law or another and live out their days in the fortress. I learned all this from an elderly historian. Everyone else just thought he'd made it all up. He he believes him. And now you know every part of that history is true. Indeed. That's just as the prophecy says. If this gate fails, then everyone will be dissolved into the sea. That's crazy. Do you believe in prophecy? To be frank, not really. But sadly, that hasn't stopped this prophecy from proving all too accurate. Prophecies are troublesome things. Yeah. Just hearing one will create the first wave of panic. Seeing signs of it will bring about the second, and actually witnessing it in real time, the third. So, as the Duke of Meripede, just what do you plan on Let's to do about else. it? I want to show you something. Stop showing me things and tell me! <laughs> This is it. Oh, hello, friends. Your Grace, perfect timing. The results from our last round of experiments have... Wait, Jurier, he's not alone. Huh? Lorveen and Jurier? No need to panic, you two. I've already told them about our plan. What? After you warned us not to tell a single soul about any of this? I'm skeptical as well. Are you sure they are trustworthy? The results speak for themselves, don't they? These two may already know more than you could ever imagine. Hmm. All right, then, if your grace insists. They seem harmless enough, so I'll trust them for now. Well, how about some reintroductions? Hmm. This is Jurier, one of the highest ranked researchers from the Fontaine Research Institute. He used to work under Edwin. I trust that you've heard of Edwin? Not really. Ed who? What the heck? I'll just say yes, we have. Good. Saves me a bit of time explaining. Maybe I should have said who. Edwin's main areas of research were archaeum and gravimeters. As his assistant, Jurier is quite familiar with them as well. I hired him to be my technical consultant. You... You want to blow up the fortress of Meripede? Ah, <sighs> what a lovely idea. I'm already imagining it in my head. 
<laughs> you would. Gotta admit, I'm tempted as well. Guys, focus! Focus! <laughs> that taskmaster over there is Miss Lorvine, and is also one of my technical consultants. While Jurier used to be Edwin's assistant, she used to be Jurier's assistant. Oh, really? Ooh, are they together? Was that really necessary? See, everyone keeps asking this question. Are you too sure you're not a couple and just using your work as a convenient cover? <laughs> I... Your Grace, I am not in a relationship with this man. She was hesitant. If I dated her, I'd officially be madder than Edwin. Jeez, I forget I said anything then. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Really cool. Whoa. There's another door that goes right up. Your constant amazement makes it seem like the fortress can do anything. <laughs> I think. What? Simon really thinks everything's super cool. <laughs> Is this just a normal room? Well, let's spice it up a bit. And here you go. Oh! This is what so a cool. Huge ship? This is also a production zone that Paimon's never seen before. What's going on? How much do you know about Fontanian history? I. Uh, not much at all. Well, then maybe you haven't heard the story of ancient Lemuria. Nope. To give you a quick rundown, Fontaine used to be ruled by the Lemurian dynasty. Okay. According to legend. The Lemurian king Remus came to this land after being inspired by divine revelation and found the seer Sibylla, who had taken on the form of a golden bee. Taking the golden bee with him and riding on a huge ship, the Fortuna, he created his nation above the surging waves. Hmm. He called his nation Lemuria and used the Fortuna to incessantly search for new tribes and islands, calling on them to join his empire. There's a ship in the story too? Where there's water, there'll be ships. People believe that hope can always be found at the end of a voyage. Yeah. Do you believe that too? To a point, I think. As you've already seen, I have a whole factory's worth of labor materials and technology at my disposal. Certainly can't hurt to give it a try. So the moment I began to speculate that the primordial sea might lie underneath the gate, I also began this project. Ooh. Were you inspired by the legendary Fortuna? Mm, maybe. Fontanians need something to hold on to to cope with the impending disaster. Uh, can't you, sh can't you share your plan with everyone? Were the workers to find out the truth behind this ship, riots would destroy the fortress faster than any catastrophe. That's true. As the fortress's administrator, I'd never make such a reckless call. All right, that's mm -hmm. enough talking for now. I'll need another three cups of tea to soothe my throat. Nah, of course, Do tea. Do you have any other questions? Seems like you're good. Come on, I'll take you back. You didn't give me an option, but okay. I'll leave you here for now. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you so much. No worries, mm -hmm. but don't forget, it's up to you whether or not you want to share what you just saw. What you do from here on out will likely affect those three as well. That's true. He means that my actions now will decide the next steps Linny's group takes. In other words, if I want to tell Linny the truth, I must make him understand that we cannot afford excessive conflict right now. Yeah, we'll put a lot of thought into it for sure. Yes, we will. Great. I look forward to what happens next. Okay. What happened now? Wait, what? There. Here we go. We're back! Welcome back. Do you want a cup of tea? Oh my gosh, Risley and Lynette would get along with each other, huh? How can you be so much like Risley? Always drinking tea! <laughs> huh. Actually, now that you mention it, I just remembered something now. While I was sedated, I could still barely hear two people talking next to me. They were discussing everything, from the leaves, to the water, and even the teacups themselves. <laughs> it must have been Risley and Sishwin. Yeah, 
I heard one male voice and one female, so it should have been the two of them. They really were just talking about brewing tea. <laughs> I really can't make sense of this place. <laughs> it's like, is it really prison? So, Traveler, Paimon, were you able to learn anything from Risley? Yeah, he explained everything. Very well. Then, would you mind checking your answers against my speculations? Then he sounds a lot more like his old self. Feeling better? Yeah, I took the time to rest, so I'm feeling a lot more relaxed now. Why? Then why is Lynette feeling sad? Looking Nobody sad? Is around, and Miss oh. Sijuin is also busy with something or other. So, let's just talk here. Alright, then I'll posit my theories. I asked myself three questions. Firstly, why was Fremenet affected by the primordial seawater? It was because he dove into the sea. My theory is, the long-lost primordial sea is probably very close to the fortress of Meripede. It's right. Ooh, he's good. He got that right on the first try. That's our Lenny. Mm -hmm. Secondly, Risley's attitude changed dramatically during the course of our stay here. He ignored us completely at first, then suddenly roadblocked us. Why? I spent quite a long time thinking about this. If he has been monitoring the Fatui since the very beginning, he probably ignored us at first because he was hoping we could find Master Child for him. That's right, too! More, the Fortress of Meripede is not part of Fontaine's court system, nor does it report to Udex Nervilet. Risley is basically the king of a no-man's land. As long as the Fortress doesn't do anything about Master Child's disappearance, Father can use it to pressure the Fontaine authorities. And while the two factions are pitted against each other, Risley will be free to move between the parties of interest. Hmm. If I had to guess, he probably has something that he's working on himself. It's likely related to the secret of the infirmary, but I just can't think of what it could be. You're smart, dude. Lenny's grasp of the big picture is amazing. You're super smart. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Then finally, there's the last question. If Risley does have a plan, what could it be? All I know for now is that his plan probably has something to do with the changing nature of the seawater. He's even gotten Cloran to help him out. Ah, uh, that can't be the full extent of what he's doing. There's probably a secret passageway behind the block in the infirmary, and there's something big in the fortress that most people here never get to see. He has a bargaining chip, and it could be important enough for Father to deal with him directly. I don't have enough information, mm. so I have no idea what his chip might be. But let me guess. You have the last piece of the puzzle. Mm. After some deliberation, you shared the information you just learned. While sharing, you emphasized that now is not the time for dispute. <sighs> blah, blah. I can't believe it. Must see, will engulf everyone. Just like the prophecy said. Could Risley have wanted to meet Father to figure out a way to deal with this crisis? If you remember, I once mentioned that Father sees the House of the Hearth as her base of operations, and she truly wants to resolve the crisis. But how could Risley have known that? Or perhaps he didn't know, and just wanted to bring Father over to his side? Which could be why he said he just wanted to negotiate. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I understand your concerns as well, Traveler. I'll figure out a way to pass this on to our Father. No matter what, we're on your side. You better be. The two of you have already aided us far too much. We probably wouldn't be standing here right now if not for you. Mm. If you ever need anything else going forward, please come to the House of the Hearth at any time. Though okay. you may not share the sentiment, after all that we've gone through together, the three of us basically see you as family now. Mm. You have my gratitude. Thank you for protecting Linny when it really mattered. And thank you for sharing the secrets of the fortress with us. We didn't think you were going to do it. Uh, mm. Why are you being so formal all of a sudden? Don't mention it. We can work together again if necessary. Did we? Did the traveler forgive them now? Given your strength, you might not need our help at all. But if you are ever in danger, we will try our best to protect you. Ah, the sound of that makes Paimon feel all warm and safe inside. <laughs> and hunger. What was that? Uh, Paimon <laughs> She's like, whoops. <laughs> oh, uh, 
You've done so much already. Go get some food. I just realized the light is too too, too much. Sorry. Alright, then we'll catch you guys another time. Jeez. What's up with my light? Okay. There we go. I knew it. I knew the timing. This never happened. Come on, let's go pick up ours as well. Uh, Traveler and Paimon, uh, over here. Ooh, Seedwing. Are you here for dinner too, Miss Seedwing? Uh huh. And I'm taking the opportunity to prepare Miss Cloran's dinner as well. Ooh. Huh. You're right. She's actually sitting in the fortress cafeteria. What would you like to eat? Huh? We can choose? Yep, you can. I've already talked to our chef, Mr. Wolsey. It's all on me today, so you can get whatever you'd like. Oh, Then I'll have the tastiest stuff you can- you have to offer. Then I'll get the biggest portion you'll have to offer. It gotta be tasty. Me too! Don't forget Paimon! No problem. Just leave it to me. Wait, wait, but you're a melusine. I don't know. After a while, the meal siege we- ba 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 I- it's- this one's Risley. Ah, so delicious. The shakes are terrible, apparently. Um, amazing. Free dinners are the absolute best. Is this how it feels to be freeloaders? Wait a second. We did do plenty of work after all. Mm -hmm. Not feeling full yet? How's the food? Delicious. Exquisite. Thank you. Mm. I can see the expression on your face just now, but the muscle here just moved, which suggests that you're feeling quite relaxed at the moment. Aww. Seedween, do you do this to help your patients or to better understand human beings? Both. I both, I suppose. Oh. I'm a melazine, which means I'm very different from human beings. I must know what you're thinking if I want to take good care of you. You're really mm. good at taking care of people. Even though you're so short, you still talk and act like an older sister. Really? You're reminded of an older sister? <laughs> That's great to hear. Wait, but why does she have a human trait? Never mind, let's not talk about it. Oh, and what did you mean back in Risley's office? When you said that you were protecting Linny and his siblings as well? Oh, that. I just asked his grace to look out for those children, especially that diver boy. I was getting a bit worried after hearing that something was wrong with the water. Thankfully, Glorand is very strong and managed to save him in the nick of time. His grace also sealed the pipes after Glorand left, but to make sure that Linny wouldn't impulsively chase after his brother. Mm. Although the path was blocked, we still stationed some guards there to stop anyone from approaching. They were instructed to only open the door once Miss Glorand had returned. Oh, and I was keeping an eye on Mr. Linny as well. We had to press him, but we couldn't allow him to be in any real danger. You were all super yeah. considerate and really thought everything through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just what we do down here at the fortress. At least this has been his grace's style for as long as he's been the leader. Aww. Oh, I really wish Monsieur Nervula would come down here more often, too. I feel like he'd like it here, <laughs> with all the darkness and chaos. Really? But that doesn't make sense at all. It's hard to imagine Nouvellet outside of his office. Get a good night's rest, you two. You both worked very hard. Okay. Thank you, Seedween, you adorable melusine. Can I talk to you? Corinne! Ah, uh, it's you two. Oh, you sound nice. How's dinner? It's all right. Miss Sijuin really put in a lot of effort. So mm -hmm. we heard that Brisley invited you to come down to help, and you saved Fremenade too! You sure work super fast! Oh, it was child's play. Oh? Still, Paima didn't know even Champion Duelist could take on side jobs. Oh, and why aren't you eating with Sijuin and the Duke? Won't you get bored eating by yourself? Mm hmm. Miss Sijuin was with you, and the Duke has business of his own. Hmm. Actually, didn't Navia say that you went out for dinner with her as well? They're besties! Yeah. 
First time in a long time. Hmm. First time in a long time? So you mean you've gone out to dinner with her in the past? In the past, yes. Mm -hmm. You seem to be enjoying yourselves here. She doesn't want to tr get triggered from the path, I th it seems like. All thanks to Nivellette. Things will be getting messy at the fortress soon. Don't run around unnecessarily. Yes, ma'am. Skip to my loo, my darling. Do, 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 do. Okay, just stamina's fine. Wee. Absolutely exhausted now that she's finally relaxed. <sighs> I'm on super sleepy. Are you sleepy too? I'm also getting there. <sighs> Jeez. <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> wow, she really immediately fell asleep. For free. <laughs> Good night. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh gosh. What happened? Why is everyone running? No idea, but something must have happened. Stop asking. Oh gosh, something's wrong. What's that sound? Paimon, wake up. We need to go out and see what's going on. Alright. What's going on? Who's causing trouble? Alarm! Oh! Oh! We didn't hear that in our car. I mean, car. <laughs> In our room, not car. We don't even have cars in this game. <laughs> no time to explain, mate. Goodbye. Uh, hey, wait! What's wrong with these people? They won't even talk to us. We gotta go. They're here. Yeah. There you are. Oh, oh these guys. This, this guy is nice. I'm still in Lavaroon. Well, that know was know weird. That was weird. Well, what's up with that shot? We came here especially to inform you. Oh, nice. Something seems to have gone terribly wrong just now. His grace is telling everyone to evacuate and get out of here. Like oh. Like was saying, you two are new here and you don't have many friends, so you might slip through the cracks. Haven't you heard all the stories like that? An evacuation is successfully completed, yet you only find out once you do a head count that one or two people are missing. Hmm. <laughs> nice of you guys to not forget about us. Wait, weren't you the one who brought that up? Why is it suddenly my idea? Nah. Hey, shut up! Okay, whatever. The point is, you should come with us. You said his grace said to evacuate outwards? Yeah, he said to get as far away as possible. Upwards and outwards. Sheesh. Then that means whatever happened must have happened down below. Oh no. Isn't that gate at the very bottom? Oh no. It can't be that thing! Oh, wait. What? What? Hey, where are you going? We have to go by the Duke. You two just go and get out! Go on without us! Hey, hey! Be careful! Well, you two are nice NPCs. Thank you. Everyone's running! Holy cow, look at them! Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Oh! This is the most NPC action I've ever seen. Them running away. I don't know if they keep on running. I don't know if there's any NPCs that move. Um, like, out of random. Not out of random. What am I saying? But you know what I mean! That kind of movement. Like, while we move against their against their movement they're still moving that's crazy you guys get what i mean i'm not making sense i know but that's what i mean <laughs> uh shoot shoot all right we're going to the forbidden zone 
Something crazy is happening. Let's go. Oh, cutscene! <laughs> They're here. Just like I said. What happened? They know that we're huh. on the way. Oh! Oh, it went all the way. Oh, it's all the way up. You're just in time. But be ready to run. Yeah, you're here, but we got you gotta get out. Oh, he looks so cool. Oh, we have to bring ordeal. Oh, oh, rivalry! Don't get hurt. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! That looks so pretty. Oh! Run! Run! Oh my gosh. Oh, that nod! Three, two, one. Ooh, they have work worked on something. They, they trust each other's ability. That's cool. Oh, that was so close. Wow, he was just looking hot this there. This won't hold it for long. Find Nuvillette. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. Then what will happen to you? Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. The gate. How long do you think it'll hold? That depends on us. <laughs> Risley and Chlorine versus the water. <laughs>